Renee from Create Your Own Story by Renee Christine. And I have a journal I finally finished. Um, I had been asking uh, different people on uh, websites for their opinion on how to finish the front of this because I originally just had the fern and the doily and one flower and uh, people suggested I add a couple more flowers. So um, this is what it, how it ended up. A little piece of uh, sorry trim there. The uh, uh, doily has butterflies. I don't know if you could see those on the uh, doily. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I picked that up at a vintage shop, an antique shop. And they had that. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I put it in a book. have a little dangle here with some vintage um, stone maybe plastic jewelry hanging along with uh, little bead work and some sari silk, a little tassel. And I'm just going to do a really quick flip through here because uh, where I live it takes about four hours to upload a 15, 10 to 15 minute video. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly uh, just so there is a flip through of the journal. It, I did have a uh, cover a bow for it. It's light green. I don't know what I did with the bow though. Um, I'll show you a picture though. I'll take a picture of it and post it. But uh, I personally don't like the bows other than to hold the book together. This one's a little bit chunky as you can see. I've got lots of little um, trims. This looked like grass. I thought it was pretty cool. And then I've got a lot of beadwork here. So it made it a little chunky. Um, so the bow can be used, the fabric, it's a fabric bow, can be used to hold it together while storing it on a shelf. Um, I also didn't put a ton of beadwork down here in decorating because, again, if it's sitting up like this and it's got a ton of um, doilies and lace and everything, uh, it's not really going to sit straight. Um, I guess that stuff could go on the top, but then it's not hanging down at the bottom. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that, because I'd really like people's opinions on that, because I never know which way to go. Um, so let's start with the flip through. I'm going to move, I think I'm going to move the camera a little. Sorry. So you can see it better. Okay, so inside I've got a fabric. It's a hidden spine behind uh, this fabric and a layer of fabric here. There is a little pocket here on the journal. Uh, this piece was made with some wallpaper and it's got the beading on the bottom. A little, uh, oh my gosh, I'm, I think it's too early or something because I'm just like not thinking of my words. Um, did a little one of these. <laughs> oh my gosh. It'll come to me like halfway through. Uh, I've got a little doily in there, coffee dyed doily, and a little flip tag with a journaling spot there. I used eyelash trim here um, in green. It kind of made me think of the forest. This is, I guess this would be called a woodlands fern and mushroom journal. I did use Artie Mae's kit, uh, fern and mushrooms I think it's called, and then I also used Tracy Fox's uh, sketchbook digital kit. Um, I did some stamping on fabric here and placed that on the um, muslin, not muslin, whatever this stuff is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, maybe you can laugh with me or laugh at me. Um, so I did, you know, some of the basic normal things, did some vintage journal paper. I do put white paper in my journals because I figure you could put some gesso on there and do some art journaling mixed in with your journal, uh, your other journaling, your writing journaling, because I love to art journal. It's what I do for myself on the side. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep going. A little bit of stenciling, a uh, pocket floating pocket with another tag here. I love making these little tags. Uh, some more papers, a little bit more stenciling with ferns, green paper, 
um, some parchment paper, but, but not parchment like you would bake with. It's actual parchment paper. Uh, paper. Does that make sense? I made a little pocket here and some rusty clips um, to kind of make it not look so bright. This little pocket has a couple extra mushroom tags in there uh, with some fern pictures on it. I put a couple fairy cards in here with some eco dyed paper on, for this corner pocket. Another um, fabric print and then here's a key that can be used as a bookmark in your journal. And there's a little flower dangly on that. This is part of Tracy Fox's kit, um, sketchbook kit. And then on the back side, that's paper on one side and wallpaper on the other side. A little belly band and another little envelope with some journaling cards. A vintage children's book. I just thought that was so cute. The only thing I don't like about the, um, I have to, on this one I had to actually put something on the back because the other side of it had like the wrong side. I think it was of an otter, so uh, I had a bear on this side and an otter on this side. But all it showed on the side was like the otter's rear end, so I covered that up with paper. One of the things I like to do in uh, some of my journals is I made a little um, place with wax paper sewn in where you can keep flowers if you're taking this with you on a hike or um, a walk and you're, you want to collect specimens for you know your journal specimen cards. This uh, You can just stick that in there and close it up and you've got a place to keep your flowers and over time they'll dry out. Another pocket, this is an old envelope decorated with a writing card decorated on the back. Another pa another uh, wax paper section and then some pages from a gardening book, some more journaling on coffee dyed paper or stenciling, some more tags. Here's what these tags look like. Got little bugs on this one. I made another, uh, this is the uh, a CD pocket with some uh, journaling spots on the back. I did a couple, I did two uh, decorated paper clips and I have a collection of older papers and I just absolutely love, oh look at that, I didn't even notice that before. That's like a little pin in the paper. That's funny. Um, but I just love the writing and the print on some of these old papers, but you can use that to journal on or you could use it to create your own uh, digital images. That pin's kind of cool. I wonder what that was there for. It's just stuck right in the paper. Huh. I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> Some uh, papers from another kit. I will have to... It's either My Porch Prints or Calico. I'm not sure on that. I don't remember. I will find out and put that in the post. A couple more white pages for art journaling. I did do a little bit of a real flower that I had pressed and dried and I decoupaged that onto the page. Some more papers. Another, this one's a double pocket with the Artie Mae's Mushroom and Ferns kit. There's the two pockets. More journaling, or more uh, vintage Car, vintage book papers. Um, here is another pocket, the other side of that envelope. Another wax paper page. A vintage page from a Reader's Digest book that had a forest image in it, kind of went with the colors. Another, uh, this is Cicely Barker's Flower Fairies. Uh, these are postcards that you can order online and they give you a nice big box of them. So these are pretty cool. I like to share those in the journals. Had a little bit of uh, fern stenciling. Another one of the postcards. This is a, a double pocket here with some journaling spots. This is just some collage I put together of some old upholstery fabric and cut out pieces. More paper. Another little envelope with a rusty paper clip. This one's eco dyed, and there's some papers. There's a little bit of eco dyed paper and some more mushrooms for journaling. I have a little pocket 
here with a card from Tracy's kit at Love Junk Journals. And then um, towards the end here I've got another journaling tag, a little corner tuck spot and a journaling note card. Some more paper, some more stuff like, oh, I have this little page, it's kind of cool I thought. Um, I did a flip up, put some little fabric down here with little buggies on it and have a flip up so there's a ton of writing space here um, to write your thoughts and flip them back over so everybody doesn't get to see them but um, this is a you know two more tuck spots I didn't put anything in those the book was getting pretty thick so I didn't want to make it too thick uh, another spot for journaling here oh, that little corner got bent there's the other half of that bag with another uh, Cicely Barker flower fairy some stenciling of some lilies some more paper and one more piece of antique paper uh, and another um, decorated paper clip for the journal it's kind of cool uh, some stenciling a belly band and I took two old vintage playing cards and I put journaling pages lines on the back. This is also from the Artie Mays kit. I believe that was Butterflies in Blue that that came from. But uh, those are in there for journaling. And these are just some scraps of fabric and things I have around the house. And then this also has a back pocket back here that you can put things in. And then this little fuzzy bunch of trim. I just thought this was so cool and it looked like grass and leaves and all that mixed up. So. Um, it kind of went pretty well with the journal. Um, put that back in. But here's what you have. Um, here's how it looks down here. And then uh, it's probably three inches thick. You know, just letting it sit. Um, maybe even a little bit more. But I do, it does come with a ribbon that gets tied around here. But it's a removable ribbon, ribbon that comes off. And then I put uh, some extra little bits and pieces of things I use. This is the this is the fabric that the ribbon is made out of. So um, I put some of that in there too for journaling. I hope you enjoyed looking at this and thank you so much for watching. My Etsy store is Create Your Own Story. I hope you have a great day. Please be safe this weekend and make it an awesome week. Thank you.